is Jessica and today I'm going to share with you guys seven things that you do not need in your makeup collection. It is time to declutter it, to get rid of it. I'm obsessed with decluttering. I've been doing it for a while on my channel. I'll link my declutter playlist. Before I get into this, keep in mind, it's just makeup. It's not that deep. I'm not meaning to offend anyone. I'm not, you know, these are just my opinions. Obviously some of these things work for some people, but I'm doing this video for fun because I think it's kind of fun to share. So let's go ahead and get into it. you need to get rid of from your makeup collection is that really deep colored lip gloss that's like maybe it's like deep red or it's like bright berry or it's a really stark color that runs outside your lip line because it's a lip gloss after all that you never wear and you always keep it because you're like oh that'll look good over a red lipstick but then you never put it over a red lipstick because if you're wearing a red lipstick you want it to stay in place get rid of that lip gloss you're never gonna wear it or you'll wear it once and then you'll look at yourself in the mirror and think I don't really like the way this looks so then you wipe it off anyway just get rid of it now the second thing you can declutter is that giant eyeshadow palette you have with 88 eyeshadows in it when you already have like 10 other eyeshadow palettes or maybe two or maybe one and you never ever reach for that huge one but you always say to yourself oh but maybe maybe one day I'll use this bright yellow color on my eyes when I do a bright yellow eyeshadow look. That day is never gonna come. And if you need it for a Halloween costume or for that one day you're gonna do it, go buy a Wet n Wild Trio with that bright color in it for $3 and call it a day because you do not need that huge palette unless you're like a makeup artist or if you actually use it. Third thing you need to is that brown or that really light nude lipstick that you keep because you're like, well, Kylie Jenner wore this. Or you keep it because you're like, well, this YouTuber wore it and it looks so good on her. Well, that YouTuber might be a different skin color than you or just a completely different skin type, whatever. And while it might look good on someone else, if you've tried it on and you know it looks crazy on you and you're just keeping it because you're like, but if you're never going to wear it, get rid of it. It looks like I have a brown lipstick that looks horrendous on me and I finally got rid of it because I'm like, why am I holding on to this? Like, it literally looks terrible on me. Or I had like a MAC lipstick and it was, I think it was like Nymph or something. It was really, really light. And I'm like, but it's like a cult classic. I've got to keep it. No, you do not have to keep it. No one cares whether you own it or you don't. And if you're never ever going to wear it, just sitting there going bad, pass it on to someone that actually will wear it. Next one that giant powder brush you have that you keep because you're like, oh, it'll be great for bronzing up my neck. I think maybe once in my life I have bronzed up like my decollete in my neck and I'm pretty sure that was for my wedding. Like other than that, I just don't do that. So if you know yourself and you know you're probably not gonna do that and that big powder brush is taking up a lot of room in your collection, get rid of it. Now if you do it all the time, then keep it, use it, but most people don't, I mean, come on. Next thing you need to get rid of, the millions of beauty blender dupes that you have bought at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Amazon.com, all the different places, CVS, Walgreens, that you know aren't as good as the real one, but you keep buying them in hopes. Now some of them are okay, but if you've got like five different types and you're not even using any of them, get rid of them. They're just soaking up bacteria. They're just getting gross. Get rid of the ones you're not using. There's no point in holding on to them. Next thing you don't need, unless you're a makeup artist, a huge contour palette. You guys, most of us fluctuate our skin tone a little bit throughout the year, but nothing drastic enough where you jump from one contour shade to another completely in a year. I mean, maybe some people, but that would be rare. You don't need eight different shades of different contour things, four different highlights in the same palette. You can't really travel with it well. It's better to have one shade that works or maybe like a smaller palette, but those huge ones, we don't need them unless you're a makeup artist. And the last thing you can easily and quickly get rid of from your collection are the 50 samples that you have from Sephora and Nordstrom.com, all the different department stores you can order from online, Sephora, website, Ulta, all those samples you get that you know you're never gonna use, get rid of them. You're holding on to them thinking, well, when I run out of mascara, then I'll have this one. You know it's not gonna happen because you know you'll buy another mascara way before you run out of the other one. Or you already have like three backups. It's never gonna happen, at least for me, it never happens. So I finally realized, I, unless it's a sample that I'm gonna try like within the week, it's gone. I just get rid of it because someone else will use it and be excited to use it. Whereas for me, it's just sitting there waiting and eventually I get rid of it anyway. Or it eventually just goes bad because I waited two years to use it. <laughs> 
Hopefully this video was enjoyable and helpful for you guys. I will link my decluttering playlist, as I mentioned, down below so you can watch if you're just in that decluttering mood. I've also done a mind tricks you need to declutter your life video, which I will also link. It's kind of some things you can ask yourself and think to yourself as you're trying to declutter, just to keep yourself on the right track so you're not keeping things for the wrong reasons. You know, there's nothing wrong with keeping things and having a collection, but I think there is something wrong when you can't control what you're keeping, that you're just keeping things just to keep them. You know, so I hope that you'll subscribe to catch more decluttering tips and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And you guys didn't tell me yet again, I'm drinking my tea and it always pushes my lipstick up like I've got little like horns coming out of my lips and you guys didn't tell me it was running outside my lip line. Huh.